sooner or later we're supposed to put away our childhood things and grow up. But spare a thought for the poor toys frozen, waiting for a playtime that will never come. That's the scenario facing Woody and his friends in Toy Story 3. It's Toy Story, the college years. What are you going to do with these old toys? Okay, it's not exactly American Pie, but Andy, the owner of Woody and his pals, is off to college. Now, come on, guys. We all knew this day was coming. Come on. Let's see how much we're going for on eBay. Faced with a lifetime gathering dust, Buzz, Woody, and all the rest find themselves at the Sunnyside Daycare. Welcome to Sunnyside, folks. You'll find being donated was the best thing that ever happened to you. And you want us to stay at Andy's. And a new daycare means new play pals. The best of the bunch has to be Ken. Hi. I'm Ken. Barbie, have we ever met? Uh-uh. I would have remembered. <laughs> Barbie's plastic soulmate is stuck in the 70s and voiced with flair by none other than Michael Keaton. I'm not a girl soy! I'm not! Come to Papa! At first, Sunnyside looks like a preschool Shangri-La. But the toys soon learn these toddlers have teeth and tongues. Ugh! After seeing the daycare's dark side, Toy Story 3 becomes a Tiny Tykes version of The Great Escape. And he's looking for us. Listen up, we're busting out of here. And it's another desperate dash to reach Andy again. A familiar scenario for fans. Seems to me if you need to switch Buzz into Spanish mode for laughs. Amigo? Oh, enemigo. Uh, amigos, we're all amigos. It's a sign the sequel's stretching for new ideas. We gotta switch him back. Look, you and I both know this movie is going to be a massive hit, but that doesn't make it great. Pixar's movies like The Incredibles and Wally reminded us just how hollow most Hollywood films are. Toy Story 3 is a sequel that nobody needed, with 3D that only adds to the ticket price. Nothing incredible here. Toy Story 3 rates, 2 stars. I'm Eli Glasner.